So I blacked out and eventually came to. Next thing you know, I'm sitting there tongue punching the fart box. She had the fucking nerve to turn around and be like, what's your name? <laughs> What's good, YouTube? It is your boy Thesis, aka Thesis himself from Vaping with Thesis Ass Roy. God bless it. Now, look, mm, bitches, no, today we have got something that is beautiful. Now, I say that in a good way, in a positive way. It's not necessarily my favorite RDA in terms of, of aesthetics. If you take a look at this setup, it's absolutely gorgeous. This is the Thumper Humper Pumper 2000. Kidding, it's actually the Thumper 21. This is an interesting setup. I want to show you guys. The amount of clouds that I'm getting off of this Arthur RDA is phenomenal. That being said, the flavor is pretty fucking spectacular as well. If you haven't taken a second, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, notification button, to make sure you stay updated with each and every one of the videos. Make sure to hit my ass up on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, all at Thesis himself, bam. Hashtag Ninja Militia. Don't forget to hit me up on patreon.com slash thesis himself. That is exactly how I'm able to earn this income and stay an independent reviewer while not taking money for good reviews. Bitch, it's okay, smother truckers. Now with that being said, let's go and get up close and personal with the Arthur by Asmo. Welcome to Up Close and Personal with your boy Thesis. Now today, we have got the Arthur RDA by Asmodis. Now this is their flagship RDA. They've been kind of telling me about it for the past couple of weeks. Earlier in the intro, I was kind of alluding to the fact that it wasn't the prettiest uh, RDA I've ever seen. Now granted, I don't think it's ugly by any means, but for a flagship RDA that they claim to be the prettiest one they've made, I didn't necessarily think that was the case. However, the issue was, it seems obvious, but the issue was that I had it on this specific device. Now, once I placed it onto the V-God, I was basically blown the fuck away. Look how perfect, even with the clashing of the gold and copper, look how perfect that looks together. I cannot ask for a prettier setup on this V-God. Huge shout out to my boy Bobby Borman for sending this bad boy to me, by the way. He didn't have to do that shit, and he did. He's a patron. Thank you. Much love, bro. Oh, guys, so with that being said, let's go and get up close and into it. Okay? Okay. Bam. So, first and foremost, I gotta make a confession. This RDA does not come with this drip tip. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna set that to the side. So this is exactly how it comes just like this. Everything you see in these bags, I haven't removed anything, I haven't fucked with anything except for the squonk pin. We'll kind of get into that a little bit later. But aside from that, this is exactly how you receive it. Open it up and it's not a real um, elegant box. It just kind of is what it is. Um, I'm not necessarily sure what the MSRP is gonna be on this bad boy uh, by the time that this video releases. I tried every one of these screws in and out of the RDA while I was building and the crunch factor is virtually non-existent. These threads are some of the best threads I've ever felt on an RDA or an RTA, period. That goes to show you guys the craftsmanship and the worksmanship of Asmodis. Now, are they paying me for this video? Absolutely not. They sent this out and I do appreciate that, but I'm not receiving money for this. That's just me being completely honest. In the bags, you do get a set of four screws as well as some cock rings. And then on top of that, you get a squonk pin. Here's the downside about this squonk pin. On further inspection of the box, I did realize that uh, the Allen wrench that it comes with is not the right Allen wrench that fits the squonk pin. So you can do one of two things. Use a needle nose pliers to put it in or take it out. Or if you don't have an Allen wrench that fits it, you're gonna have to purchase one yourself. That kind of sucks. I do wish that it did come with the bigger Allen. Let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on just to get the size correctly. Ooh, we got to zero that shit out. I'm assuming this is going to be 24, 25. Let's find out. Bam, 24.1 millimeters. That's perfect. That's exactly what I would expect. And there's absolutely zero lip on this 24 millimeter V-God. Looks perfection. Now this is definitely worth noting. The body of this device is stainless steel. Every piece of metal that you see that is gold is actual 24 karat gold plating. Again, I'm not sure what the MSRP is gonna be. I'm hoping it's gonna be affordable. However, with 24 karat gold plating, who knows, you feel me? Now take a look at the chimney itself. Again, this is called the Arthur, therefore it's gonna harken back to King Arthur. I'm assuming that's what they're kind of getting at. I gotta say, it's a beautiful RDA. Now one of the things I noticed right off the bat is it is a dome-shaped chimney. To me, that's something that's important because generally speaking, when you have a dome shape like that, anything that's an upside down cone or an upside down funnel, it's gonna force the vapor to condensate to the point where the flavor is almost like a laser pen on your tongue. It's fucking phenomenal. This is by far and away one of the best examples I can give you guys that rides the line between flavor and just pure clouds. This thing rides that line perfectly. How is it in terms of daily use? I gotta tell you guys, I used it mostly for squawking up until this morning. I did rock this bad boy on here whilst dripping. That's kind of where it started to shine, and I didn't necessarily realize that this does come with a squonk pin, but is not necessarily geared specifically for squonking. Just like that. I'm just get the cotton nice and juicy, and then right dead center. 
you're gonna see two airflow slots just beneath the coil right here. Almost like a double barrel shotgun looking. And that's definitely not where somewhere you wanna get your juice, so that's why I'm sticking right to the middle. P.S. The coils I am using, these ones are uh, Woto Fo, these are the Juggernauts. Some pretty insane coils if you ask me. Real quick, I forgot to mention this. This is the U-shaped wrench they do include with this RDA, and that is to, bam, use right here. Used specifically for disassembly. I'm not gonna do that right now, especially with this one that's already built. God, these threads are insane. The airflow, in my humble opinion, is one of the more unique setups I've seen on an RDA because it's something more like you would see on a, on a sublim tank. I mean, take a look, bam, this is my U-Force Vupu. But this is something more similar to that than you would see on an RDA. I like it, I like it a lot, to be completely honest with you guys. Hawkeye smoke the truck is now, if I was gonna recommend this bad boy to anybody, it's gonna be to somebody who wants to ride that line between flavor and clouds. This isn't something like the Wotofo and Mike Vapes collab. This also isn't something that's gonna be meant for cloud comps. But I can tell you right now, this is a perfect in-between. If you still wanna blow 12 foot clouds and you still want to get the most amount of flavor out of an RDA as possible, this is where it's at. Now in terms of the build deck, real quick, the holes on there are giant. The Juggernaut coils by Wotofo, these guys that I have in there, are nothing to scoff at. These are huge coils and they're definitely comp worthy, in my opinion. Hawkeye smothered truck is now with that being said, let's go and get back to regular view sun. Mm. Welcome back to Regular View Sun. Mm. Now my final summation is this. The R3 by Asmodus is a damn good RDA. The bottom airflow on a coil does generate decent density in terms of clouds as well as decent density in terms of flavor. A lot of double Ds in that situation. But the way that the exterior airflow is set up, I do think adds to the flavor. Reason being is because it tends to stay a little bit cooler. The coils are nowhere near that bottom airflow, the entrance of that airflow. And a lot of times, if you have the coils sitting up right next to the chimney, say the chimney's here, the coils right here, you're gonna get a lot of heat dissipation on that wall. And if that gets hot, you're starting to get your channels hot for the airflow. It starts to fuck up flavor in my humble opinion. I like to keep my coils as hot as possible for the shortest amount of time as possible. I do tend to gravitate towards bottom airflow, whether it be on an RTA or whether it be um, on an RDA. It, it doesn't matter. I like bottom airflow. Generally speaking, it does provide better flavor. In terms of the build quality, Asmodis, in my opinion, should be known and is known for its high quality devices for a decent price. This RDA, in my humble opinion, feels beautiful. I like the fact that there's a stopper so you don't need pliers if you accidentally crank too hard down on it. The airflow on it is so smooth you feel absolutely zero crunch. I also do like that weird illusion that you think that the airflow should be visibly closed off but you cannot see the airflow visibly closed off unless you look down into the chimney or to the channel. The paint on it is decent, although I was able to get it to scratch, I don't think it's gonna be a problem over time. Do I recommend this RDA? Yes, and if you have something to match it. I, for me, I like my shit to match, that's just who I am, that's what I do, bam, gorgeous. Has nothing to do with uh, what, what the fuck other people think, it's when I look at something, I like it to be visually pleasing, you feel me? Bitch, it's okay, some other truck is now my thesis is patented finger of comparability scale, I'm gonna give this bad mother trucker a solid eight and a half. The fucking flavor on this is insane. Bitch, it's okay, some other truckers. Don't forget to hit me up on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, as well as patreon.com slash thesis himself. It's that simple. Become a part of the Ninja Militia. So I want you guys to hit me up in the comment section. What would you guys like to see me do next in terms of just a review or a, a vlog situation? Or what do you guys want to see in my daily life that I'm doing on a regular basis? You let me know and I will do that shit. Simple as that. I will film it, all right? Bitch, it's okay, some other truckers. Now, with that being said, I want to tell you that I appreciate you for vaping with thesis. It is your boy, thesis. I'm out. Mm. Yo, blood. That's fucking gross. How do you know if they don't have hep C? You don't know that shit. Fuck being a vampire. Vampire all with your stupid teeth and your fucking neck. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. That is so gross. I don't know you. You are a de-evolved human. That shit, like, what is it called? I don't remember. Twinkle. Is it Twinkle? That vampire show with the twinkly, they're all super shiny and shit. Is there, are there wolves in that show, Twinkle? What is it, Twinkle? Twilight, Twilight, not Twinkle, now I feel all extra stupid. Twilight, why don't they call that shit the Twilight Zone rebranded? Mm? Cause of copyright, that's right. Mm. Now I don't remember, but I do remember the fact that there was a bunch of shiny stuff on all of their skin. They all had, they were all shiny. Didn't Avatar do that shit first? Mm. Think about it. Why? They stole Twilight Zone name. That's what I'm trying to get at. You took something that was beautiful and classic and you turned it into a fucking vampire show. Get the fuck out of here with vampires.